Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your singles love reading for Capricorn. Hope everyone's well this week. All you single Capricorns, I have the Sun and the Love card here. I want that energy right here so we can see if you have a new love interest, a new love connection. Capricorn, new love connections for Capricorn. We love prospects. Who is interested in you, Capricorn? Does Capricorn need to know? New love connections for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? Oops, this one wants to come out. Ten of Pentacles. Nice. Stable, solid. Some of you could be... Ooh, going off. Yeah, teamwork, cooperation, going off on a new path. It looks like you could have somebody here who wants something stable with you. Definitely teamwork. Could be somebody you work with. Okay, they see you as a team player. Yeah, so we have this energy of the Queen of Cups. Definitely you want that reciprocity. You want somebody who's compatible, somebody who's hardworking, financially stable. Yeah, it looks like you're kind of focused on that energy, but you could have a Queen of Cups who wants this with you. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Man or woman, doesn't matter. It's that energy of the Queen of Cups. Someone who's had a tough time in love. Somebody who wants that reciprocity. But yeah, I feel as though, you know, this is a beautiful energy because you got this beautiful passion in the beginning. There's somebody here uh, that finds you very attractive. Vice versa. So some of you, this is what you want. <laughs> somebody physically appealing. Somebody who you're compatible with that cooperates, compromises. Somebody who wants to build something beautiful. Someone grounded. Yeah, there's someone who may be wanting to approach you. You could be at a crossroads. Some of you may have your eye on someone or somebody has their eye on you. You see, holding on to that wand. There's a direct message there. Some of you probably already know who you want. You may have a choice between a couple people, but you kind of have your eye possibly on one particular person or vice versa. Yeah, there's some kind of change coming. Some of you could change your mind. You may have somebody here. And, um, you know, you may have a couple people, but you may change your mind. But it looks like you have someone coming around. Yeah, there's a little bit of a burden. Yeah, some of you are burdened. You may be changing your mind. Yeah, a little bit indecisive. You are the other person. Let's get these cards out. Yeah, so it looks to me like there's someone here who... There's definitely some change coming. And I wonder if you have someone who maybe wants to come towards you off on a new path. Could be someone who's making a choice. Maybe they chose somebody and they're changing their mind and they want to come towards you. You want someone who's responsible, reliable, someone who pulls the weight in a relationship. And I feel like this is how someone is seeing you. But there's this indecision. Somebody's not so sure if you're still single. Things may have changed. So it looks like it's someone that you may know. Could it be somebody that you worked with or worked with in the past or they're in your energy now? Feel like you have a person who wants to approach you. Feel there's a little bit of fire in this person's chart. I'm seeing a lot of fire here. Uh, maybe a Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. All right, let's see where we're at here. Yeah, somebody's stable. Yeah, look at that. This could be yourself. This could be another person, two stable people, two people to build something. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Someone's planning something. This is someone stable, reliable. Uh, this is somebody who's very meticulous, very hardworking. Somebody who's definitely about their money. They like to plan for the future. So this looks like this could be, I mean, this could be you, but it could be them. So like I say, yeah, I see some Taurus energy. Beautiful. You, you know what? This is beautiful. This is an energy of... Two people who are compatible on the same page. This is about faith. Lovely energy. I think you have a person here who is thinking about commitment. They may see you as this Queen of Cups. Very loving, nurturing, and very caring. Definitely finding you attractive. They may want to approach you. Uh, something is about to evolve, but I don't know. Maybe you've changed your mind if you know who this is. There's some kind of change here. Something's about to evolve. This is also an energy of just sort of sitting on the fence, waiting for something to happen. <laughs> it 
just letting it evolve naturally. I feel as though you got someone, they see you, it's just, you've got, it's like you, this natural energy, there's somebody here, there's definitely earth, Capricorn, you know, and that's yourself as well, you want someone like this, they may see you like this, or this is what you want, I see this Taurus energy, this is about faith, two people being on the same page, the same path, being faithful to each other, trusting in each other, having each other's backs, wow, I, I think you got someone here who is a little bit indecisive about giving up their single life though you've got someone here who has everything they want they stick to themselves so you may change your mind like i don't know like it it seems to me like this is what you want you had your eye on someone the one uh, maybe you were waiting for them to approach you all right for this change to happen and while you've been sitting on the fence waiting at this crossroads we've got two people at a crossroads it to me it looks like we got two people who are already choosing each other but this change, you may change your mind. Some of you actually could be this nine of pentacles. You have everything you need. You're not so sure now <laughs> if you want the responsibility of a relationship. But what I'm seeing is you got somebody here who maybe was in that energy and now they're changing their mind, but you are because of the center energy. A little confusing, but we'll work this through. Queen of Cups energy. Why is this here for Capricorn? Why is this here? You want that reciprocity, definitely. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, you're not so much trusting a situation. There's someone here. Maybe you're not trusting that they'll be faithful. Uh, this is an energy. The Queen of Cups is a healing energy. Some of you could be uh, nurses, doctors. You know, you work in the care industry or you're just a very loving nurturer. And you want someone to nurture, but you want this person to be faithful. You have some trust issues here. I feel you've had a tough time in love, so you don't trust easily yeah you want to make sure you're on the same page now like i say it could be them could be you because of this world it sort of flipped things around it's also an energy of taking the things that resonate going within taking what resonates and leaving the rest behind going off on a new path ace of wands you may have someone here who didn't have faith right they're not so sure it could be you if you're on the same page if you're right for each other if you're compatible you know, there's this energy of looking you've had a tough time i can see this energy capricorn you've had a tough time in love in fact you probably both are have uh, this is looking back at all that hard work maybe you were in a relationship where you carried all the weight you had a lot of burdens a lot of responsibilities so if, if you have, yeah, I feel some of you are kind of like, oh, I think I'm just going to stay single. I'm not so sure. But there is that indecision here, that choice. Two different ways, you know, to go here, choosing that path with that world. Look at that. Yeah, you may have a person here who, I, I kind of feel as though you've got somebody who didn't have faith in a situation with you that you were compatible and i feel like you aren't sure this is someone who is faithful all right or you're on the same page as well trust issues maybe not trusting each other yeah wow yeah you want that emotional fulfillment that's what you want you want to be fulfilled you want reciprocity some of you have somebody here feel it's an energy of putting something behind and uh, looking back at all the hard work and holding on to that wand and moving towards something more successful that's what you want it's possible you have a person here who may have been interested in you and then maybe became indecisive about whether they wanted to be single or not they could be changing their mind but like i said this is something that kind of evolves over time you may have now changed your mind yeah about teamwork cooperation i feel like there's some kind of change coming and i do act i'm going to be honest i feel like you're actually compatible with this person uh, I feel that there is definitely you have some things in common and the things that you have in common are trust issues uh, about faith, about being on the same page, whether you're right for each other or you're on that on the same path. That's what I feel uh, this energy is for the most part. There's a need for some kind of truth, some kind of aha moment. I feel as though you have someone who's changing their mind. They're seeing the truth in a situation. There's someone who is coming up with some kind of ideas. I think you have someone who's going to approach you 
And I do feel this is an energy of someone who has gone through some changes, maybe changed their mind, okay, about how they see relationships, commitment, uh, compatibility. It doesn't feel like an X energy. It just feels like someone that uh, maybe you worked with or is in your world or that you've met somewhere, okay, at a place of business who had their eye on you at some point. Uh, or vice versa but I, it does look like you've kind of changed your mind but there is some kind of aha moment here something to do with this truth sort of a win or lose energy uh, two people coming together to cooperate coming up with new ideas building each other up uh, letting things just evolve yeah both sharing the burdens the responsibility i feel like both of you have a lot of responsibilities uh, you have a lot of uh, and you've had relationships, I feel, both of you, where you're not so much trusting in commitments and relationships. But like I say, that energy of the Five of Wands, is, or pardon me, Five of Swords, is taking the things that work and moving forward and leaving the negative stuff behind, leaving the things that no longer resonate. There's some kind of change. Something is evolving to do with that energy in a big way. Yeah, so there is this energy of manifesting. Uh, some Gemini or Virgo energy it will be different for each of you. You have it in your chart or this person. This is somebody who is manifesting something here. And it has to do with um, taking responsibility, sharing the weight. Two people who are manifesting a connection. Two people who are manifestors. You see that? Two people who want financial stability. Two people who will have each other's backs. Uh, to sh share the weight, the burdens, the responsibilities of a relationship. You could be both manifesting each other. Maybe this is something you're manifesting with this person, but you're kind of going through this change. Could be them as well. Yeah, this is one of those readings. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Why is this here? Oops, there we go. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, this is an energy of somebody here I feel is... Trusting your intuition. There's somebody here is going within. They can't really see a way forward at this point. Someone was indecisive. Sort of keeping something. So I, it could be a secret admirer. Someone who wanted to approach you. Maybe did. Maybe they changed their mind. Maybe they felt you weren't compatible. Okay. They could be changing their mind again. But I feel like for yourself, you're, you, you've had a tough time. The Queen of Cups is someone who's had a tough time. I don't think you've given up on love. Absolutely not. I, I just feel like it could be um, you've it, sort of an energy of kind of giving up on committed relationships or marriage, not really having a faith in it. But I feel there's a lot of negative energy, a lot of negative uh, thinking here. So there's this energy. I ah, see someone who's uh, burdened, keeping something to themselves. This is someone here who's not sure if they want the responsibilities of a relationship. This is somebody who's kind of now, they could be a secret admirer, someone you work with, you know, maybe you've had uh, conversations with this person. But this is a person who's practical ground and someone who takes their time, very meticulous, very focused on that financial stability. Uh, this is someone who likes to plan for the future. This is someone who wants to make sure they're stable, they have the bank account, the house, the home before they commit. And that's what I feel is going on with this particular person. You may be unaware of how they are thinking about you, uh, but some of you, I feel, you will know who this is. But this is a person who is now trusting their intuition. Uh, this is someone who's known, I feel, I feel like this is someone who's known all along you're someone who pulls the weight. Uh, that you have a lot of burdens, you carry your weight in a relationship, but I feel because it's in the middle again, I feel as far as yourself goes, you, you're not 100% trusting, uh, and I'm not so sure it's the person, it's more about uh, commitments in general, okay, you have trust issues, could be that you both didn't trust each other, if you know who this is, but there is this new beginning. Uh, I feel as though there's something about to become illuminated to do with this situation. There's a choice in love being made here. There we go. Yeah, definitely. you got someone who wants to reach out, but they're not so sure you're going to reciprocate. So this is someone who probably keeps changing their mind, you know, but whether you're compatible on the same page, whether you're right for each other, or even have anything in common. But I feel this person is quite creative, and as things are evolving, they're coming up with ideas <laughs> to approach you. They want to manifest this. 
I think this is someone who's kind of held back. They, you know, they're kind of going within. Uh, this is what the high priestess energy is. It's going within. So somebody who could be a secret admirer, they've kept it to themselves. Uh, but I feel it's someone who already knows everything that they need to know. They know that you're someone who will who will carry, uh, share the weight, the responsibilities. Yeah, you're definitely not giving up on love, but there's something you're, you, that needs to be left behind to move forward successfully. I think it's trust issues. It could be both of you, you know. Maybe you both were in relationships. Uh, maybe somebody wasn't faithful, uh, vice versa. Take it as it resonates. Yeah, I see this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see two people who... Uh, have possibly have feelings or could be very compatible someone wants to offer you this cup but they're afraid you're not going to reciprocate and you're not so sure if you know who this is you're not so sure how you feel about this person i feel they're holding back so it's possible you have a person some of you uh, and you're not talking to them because they haven't shared their feelings it's someone who hasn't uh, pulled the weight they haven't you know given you all the information you need and it could be again uh, with this world energy something that has evolved okay something that this person i feel is starting to see the truth or having these aha moments like they haven't shared enough of themselves how you know maybe you haven't shared a lot of your feelings emotions or you don't know maybe you haven't had enough conversations to know how you really feel it's almost like somebody here felt you weren't the right person or maybe you did i i feel like it's you i feel like you may change your mind about this person i think you got someone here who's quite loving and nurturing this is someone who's a little cautious about reaching out yeah i i this is an interesting read tell me about the sun there we go yeah so you got somebody who's a little stuck kind of holding on to something there's something that needs to be cleared up something needs to be illuminated i feel like you got somebody kind of holding back from starting something with you maybe they were protecting themselves their money uh, or they just feel stuck like they're looking at all the details it's all this is about balance it's about you know feeling safe protecting themselves interesting energy something needs to be illuminated i think you got someone who's been holding back because of it and it could be yourself there's something you may be holding on to trust issues both of you okay there's definitely some kind of mental connection between the two of you i can see that energy as well so if you have somebody you're working with or you go to their place of business or vice versa there's definitely something here uh some i wonder if this person um creates things they have a business where they're very creative uh, they could be someone who handles the books uh, they could you know be somebody who works at a financial institution as well because of this energy yeah, there's definitely some trust issues. Yeah, I feel like it's time to let go or to just sort of, it's an energy of going within, illuminating things within yourself, you know, looking for that clarity, uh, knowing everything you already need to know. Just trust your intuition. I, I think some of you uh, feel more, it's more them. Like they, they just see you as someone who will pull the weight, that you're a manifester, that you will... Uh, share the responsibilities it's what you both want and i think that's what makes you compatible like i said you may know them you may not know who they are it's possible they're keeping this to themselves kind of unsure if they should reach out they're at this crossroads uh, they can't really see a way forward at this moment uh, this is someone who's cautious uh, about making decisions uh, they're unable to make a decision maybe at some point they kind of held back maybe that's yourself as well i feel like we got a couple people who haven't had very good relationships in the past and have kind of lost faith in the institution of marriage is what i feel okay but i think you're both pretty compatible yeah there's an energy here look at that somebody here is definitely kind of pulling back they're seeing you differently than they did before I see a little sagittarius there's that little bit of fire energy yeah this is someone who's uh 
tempted to reach out. Maybe you're tempted to reach out to them. Uh, but I feel as though this is someone who's kind of pulled back and they're looking at you differently, uh, seeing you different. I feel over a period of time as something evolves. I mean, you may work together in a team setting with this person or maybe you worked with them in the past and they've kind of been holding on to this energy of wanting to start something, but that holding back feeling stuck. If you're in that Queen of Cups energy, you haven't given up on love. Look what just came out. It's funny. Yeah, the sun. Yeah, there is definitely a decision here. Somebody is uh, wanting to start something. I see a little Leo energy, a little Sagittarius energy. Nice. A little bit of fire there. You have some things that are compatible, some earth energy. Wow, this is nice. I like this. And what I like is you got a person who... They want to reach out, but they're kind of pulling back. And I do think this person was a little afraid. Someone was afraid you weren't compatible, or maybe you were, okay? Like I say, but this is someone cautious about reaching out. And I, I feel what's happened is, is maybe you have communicated with them. They kind of tossed a few breadcrumbs and then pulled back. Uh, and it could have been yourself as well, not sure about something. And I feel if you don't share, this is an energy of if you're if you keep things to yourself and stick to yourself and you don't, you know, this is keeping everything to yourself. You may have someone here who is protecting their money. They may be very financially stable, could be you, could be them. Like I say, you know, not so sure if you want to give up everything you've worked for. This is someone who doesn't really offer a lot, but sometimes it's not divulging information, not really communicating. They may have tempted you by dropping a few hints to see if you're interested and maybe you weren't okay or maybe because of the way they uh, reached out to you you don't trust them so I feel like there's something about to become illuminated here I think you have a person who <laughs> wants to approach you they're making this choice to express themselves and just get this going I do and I do feel that they're a little worried that you won't be interested you won't reciprocate. Maybe you didn't before. Maybe this person tempted you before and you didn't reciprocate because of the way they reached out. They didn't give you enough information. This is an energy of only giving a little bit information, um, you know, sharing, caring, reciprocating. It's not just about feelings and emotions. Yeah, this person's cautious, but I think you got someone here who's thinking about family it's a, this is a person who takes a long time to make a decision somebody who plans possibly their whole life before they commit they want to make sure they're completely stable uh, you certainly want that you won't trust anyone who comes towards you that doesn't come in in a stable manner okay where they don't reciprocate they don't uh, share enough information of themselves for you to make a decision so you kind of it's possibly you're the one that pulled back and felt this person's not right for me they're just not right Okay, some of you may have a choice between several people as well. You may be making a choice, or somebody is making a choice between two. It's very possible. It could be a choice of whether to give up the single life or not. Someone has everything they need, and I, I kind of feel like it's both of you really looking out for yourself. A couple of people who are independent, used to spending a lot of time alone, focusing on money, work, your home, things like that. Very practical people, very sensible in a lot of ways lovely yeah so this is someone who's trying to think <laughs> there you've got somebody here who's strategizing how to get your attention okay they're coming up with creative ways to approach you to talk to you uh, to find out things they want to learn things about you somebody here is thinking about success they're planning something successful they could reach out and offer you some kind of little trip you know go somewhere do things some kind of adventure uh, to get you both, you know, to reciprocate, to learn about each other is what I feel. With that King of Swords here, this is about learning, it's strategizing. This person's doing a lot of thinking. They're very logical. Uh, this is someone who also needs to balance their head over their heart, okay? So they're coming towards you in a balanced manner. So I like this because what you have is a grounded person. Very interesting. Yeah, we've got this cup. Oh my gosh, yeah. Some of you might have a couple people reaching out too. You may, be, uh, you may have somebody who's right for you, somebody who's not right, or it could be this person's energy or just the energy between you. But there's this soulmate connection, two people connecting. Maybe just being friends first, spending some time together, giving each other equal attention. Someone here may be thinking, you know, I'm tired of being by myself. Uh, you know, I'm ready for some love. I'm ready for this next step in my life. But it's about that responsibility, being able to pull the weight. It is a lot of responsibility being in a relationship. 
This is someone who's kind of kept this to themselves, I feel, unable to make a decision. You may have a hard time seeing a way forward with this person, maybe because they the way they've reached out to you. You know, it could be simple as you just go someplace, this person's place of business, and maybe you've chit-chatted and tried to kind of connect with this person, and uh, maybe you lost faith in it, okay? Because I do see somebody very slow, very busy, very focused on their finances. They could be a business owner. Definitely somebody who's all about the money, all about the future, being prepared, planning, very practical. I feel like you have the opportunity for a fresh new start here. Yeah, I, you know, it's possible you could hold back from someone that uh, you don't have faith in. Uh, maybe you have. There's a person here that you've been holding on to. You're thinking of letting go and moving towards a new person, but it can be also releasing energies uh, for two people to come together, letting go of something beautiful. Let's have another little boo. Just want to see about this nine of wands. Yeah, so there is someone here who, oh yeah. So someone's thinking of putting something behind, <laughs> moving towards commitment. There's someone who's had a tough time in love. It could be both of you. It's 10 of wands right here. Responsibilities, burdens, putting something behind for some emotional feel. I think you've got a person who wants to approach you. They're at a crossroads. They're ready for commitment. They're thinking of building something with you. This is somebody who has worked very hard for their financial foundation. You know, they have the house, the home. Now they're ready for love. You've got a person who's on that journey. That's what I feel. And uh, wow, I really, really like this reading. Tell me, it, it you know, it's... It, it sounds dramatic, but what I see is just two people who have trust issues or two people who have some kind of mental connection. Maybe there's a need for an emotional connection. Maybe it's time to share some feelings, all right, to put all those cups on the table. Maybe that's what they want to do. This person's sort of thinking, well, we've had a few conversations and you're not really reciprocating possibly, <laughs> okay, because you're not trusting the way they're reaching out because it's sort of like that temptation, I And those of you who have two people, you're definitely going to take the emotional offer. Uh, you might just start something. I see like this fresh new start, a fresh approach, connecting emotionally, just being friends first as well. Kind of an energy to see if you're compatible, you're on that same page, you like the same things. Definitely you have the same work ethic. Uh, I can see that energy. Uh, I, I fe almost feel as like you're both the king of pentacles. Um, I do. And... The reason is, is because there's this very solid financial foundation. I feel like some, both of you have fulfilled yourselves emotionally. And now it's like, what's the next step? I have everything, the house, the home, the money, you know, things like that. But I don't have love. And that's what I'm feeling. So this is about work. Yeah, this is somebody here. I, I feel like some of you work with this person or you worked with them. I feel they kind of kept things to themselves. They weren't sure if they wanted a relationship or not. Uh, but I think this person thinks a lot about you, whoever they are. Uh, I do feel like you know them, uh, most of you. Like I would say like 90%. Those of you who have no idea who this is, it's a secret. They're keeping it to themselves. And it could be you as well. So I think you've got someone here who's ready to build something, uh, to cooperate, compromise, team up. Uh, they want to build something with you, like win or lose. They want something successful. And I think that's what you both want. So I do feel there's a need for some communication and truth. I feel like somebody's going to offer you something. And um, yeah, wow. Where is this going to lead? There we go. Yeah, you got someone coming in to take the lead. You have an emperor here. Somebody is definitely making up their mind. This is someone who's, you know, this is somebody who's very capable. Uh, and they could have Aries in their chart. I see that Aries energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, a little bit of Gemini. It doesn't have to be. This also could be a Virgo energy, that Mercury. Yeah, someone's manifesting something here, and it's to do. They have all the tools they need to share the weight of the relationship, you see. And this is both of you. I think you're manifesting each other, and there's just a need for a little more sharing of each other to get to know each other, right? Because you can't go off on a path together and build something if you don't know everything you need to know about each other. And I think that's kind of at the step where it's at. What is the outcome of this situation for Capricorn? 
Wow, this is a beautiful reading. I think you have an emperor here. Uh, this could be yourself as well. So please take it as it resonates. Somebody making up their mind. They know what they want. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. These cards, too many want to come out all at once. Capricorn, there we go. Yeah, the Grand Symphony. Yeah, there's something about to happen, some kind of communication. I feel this person's going to offer you something, some kind of adventure. I feel this person's ready to move forward success. But I do think they're a little worried of having a false victory. They have a tendency to think too much. That's what I feel the energy is with this person. Uh, I, I feel as though there could be some event they're going to invite you to. Uh, could be a musical event, but I do see a grand symphony. I feel like you could actually start something quite beautiful with this person. Uh, you have this new beginning in love, and I think you have somebody who is going to approach you uh, and make this choice to express themselves and start something. Regardless, if you even have two, you, this is where you're headed. You have to maybe be the one to make that decision. Uh, who it is you're interested in, who works for you, who's a good fit. Uh, I see chemistry, uh, two people just really coming together uh, that are very compatible, lovely energy. Tell me about the Grand Symphony. This is all about this Grand Symphony. Whoops. Yeah, this is your hopes and dreams. Yeah, look at that. Somebody's hopes and dreams. Somebody might feel like you're a little out of their league or vice versa, but because of all this energy, I feel more like this is your hopes and dreams, is to have someone compatible. And uh, they could be seeing you that way. So there is this story. Yeah, see, there's nothing much here. The, the pages are blank. It's time to write the story. Okay, this is that a new person, I think, for most of you. This is someone new. I don't think you've had a relationship with them. I just feel there's someone in your energy who's kind of been holding back, secretly trying to make a decision if they want to have a relationship, if they want the burden of a relationship. And, you know, look, I feel as though they're trying to figure out whether you're someone who shares the weight. Because uh, I do feel this person has a lot of responsibility. I feel like you do too. And that's what I think is going to bring you together. This is the story. The story needs to be written. And that's the key is sharing. Uh, both of you probably need to release something. Uh, let go of something. Uh, could be to do with money. You both be, be afraid to giving up your money. You may have everything you need. You're not so sure. Uh, I see coming together, uh, maybe even a prenup or something like that. Possibly you may be thinking you don't trust this person or vice versa. But it doesn't have to be. It definitely could be though. Yeah, I see a couple people who are um, definitely... Um, mature or maturing you know going down that path uh, towards commitment it's a lovely yeah so there is definitely two people coming together is this i always see this as two people bridging the gap eventually the pieces are going to fit together there's a need to rewrite this story like to start getting to know each other property uh, you have to reciprocate you need to communicate is what i feel you need to share uh, and not just feelings but everything okay so I feel like you have someone here who's very determined to come in, this emperor. This this could be your emperor. Maybe this is what you're hoping for. Let me just pull out. Who is this emperor interested in? Which, that'll tell us who it is. Who is this emperor interested in? What is their purpose? What is their decision? Ooh, speaking the truth. Clarity. So we got the king and queen of swords here. Yeah, so I feel as though there is definitely... Um, you are going to be asking a lot of questions if this is you, but it could be them. Uh, I feel this is someone who wants the truth, nothing but the truth, clear communication. It could be yourself. You, if you have some Aries in your chart or you may have some very strong boundaries because you've had a tough time in love. You want questions, right? You want the truth. Uh, you want somebody who communicates clearly. And I feel like there's going to be some energy where the two of you come together and uh, communicate because that king and queen of swords is there i do feel there's some kind of mental connection but there needs to be that emotional connection so that's why i feel like it's a work thing it's like you work together but can you play together <laughs> one more for capricorn and we'll wrap it up yeah so there is something shining through okay yeah there is a need for that clarity and i feel this is also about raising your vibration okay being very positive I do feel you could be guarded. You may have some very strong boundaries. Um, just watch that my way or the highway energy, <laughs> the queen of swords. You know, this doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to uh, be hard on this person or you're going to question them to the point where 
your boundaries are so strong that this person can't reach out to you. I feel it's more about questioning, uh, being very discerning uh, if you want this emperor energy. But just be careful about that my way or the highway. Okay, a little bit if you feel like that's how you're kind of feeling because of trust issues. You may have some trust issues you're holding on to. You may need to release them to start this. But I think you got a person that's holding back, maybe because you're like this. Maybe you keep it as a mental connection. You communicate. It's all about work uh, for some of you. But I feel this person's trying to think about ways to get your attention. You're, and you may be worried that they're coming in just looking for attention, and then they're going to set themselves free. But I think you have someone who's ready to put more attention into their love life. So a little caution. Temperance is under here. Watch your words, okay? Watch your words, temper your thoughts, your emotions, and your feelings. I think you might be surprised. Yeah, see, look at that perfect harmony. See, there. I, I feel like you may go to a musical event with this person. Maybe you both like music. Okay, maybe you can connect to that way. Uh, I think this person's trying to think of ways to communicate, to kind of get this going. So there's a lot of thought. I think we have a couple very logical people um, who both want love, uh, who have everything they need, but and uh, have a tendency to stick to themselves. Maybe you've both been single for a long time and it's just a little hard to reach out, right, to get things moving. So I wish you the best on this journey, okay? Just watch your words if this is you, but like I said, it could be them. Uh, tempering your thoughts, your emotions, okay? Speaking your truth, both being open and honest. So wish you the best. Bye for now.